What's up, everybody, and welcome in to another edition of The Sit Down. As always, if you enjoy this video, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new around here, you just haven't done it yet, you're living on a rock and seeing this video for the first time, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button below now so you never miss another sit-down video. If you're currently joining us for this live show on YouTube, welcome in. Let me know what you think in the comments below or in the chat box to the right of the show. It is spring, and if you enjoy cigars, check out our signature sit-down cigar available now from Provada Cigar Club. The link to buy is in the description of this video. What's up, everybody, and welcome in. It's Monday evening, and I had a couple of minutes here, a few hours, actually, and I thought it's about time we speak to Gene Borello. It's been a while. We haven't spoken to Gene, and recently Gene, as usual, is back in the news. So it was recent behavior. Did he actually scam someone out of money here on YouTube? We'll ask him. We'll ask him about some of the things that he said about Joey Molino. I'm going to grill him a little bit. Um, Gene has had no trouble talking about different people here on YouTube. So as you know, we're going to go right to the horse's mouth, if you will. And we're going to ask him ourselves. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Hope everyone enjoyed uh, their uh, day uh, here on a Monday. Um, it's spring, which is nice. Uh, it's nice to... Um, it's nice to have uh, spring around again. It was almost 80 degrees here today. Uh, you got to love it. You got to love it. So um, let me um, do what I have to do here and uh, get the link over, and then we will get started here. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. Uh, if you have any questions for Gene, please drop them in the chat. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the friendliest conversation we've ever had. However, um, we'll do what we can do here and see how it goes. Uh, before we get into the conversation with Gene, we'll wait him to join. I'll say hello to some people. If anybody would like to donate, support the channel further, past hitting the like button, feel free to drop a super chat. You can also send me a cash app, and I will drop that information in the uh, chat box. Uh, who do we have in here today? Uh, reps, what's going on? Are you the only one who asks Gene tough questions? Uh, well, listen, I appreciate that. They never tell you that, though. Uh, everyone says, oh, they never ask tough questions. Uh, we do. Um, by the way, uh, we had a live over the weekend that got, um, unfortunately, uh, taken down. Uh, it was hit with uh, some sort of copyright. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, and we'll just have to take it on the chin and uh, accept it. So we'll wait for uh, Gene uh, to join here, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll have him on and, and make him answer some questions. As I said in the title, it's time for some answers from Gene. We've heard a lot from him, uh, and um, you know we've also heard things about him. So we'll, we'll ask him about what's going on. Uh, Joe Root, Mike L., uh, Gray Jedi, Mustache Pete, Don, Melinda, Bukowski, Steven, Irvin, John, Frank, Scott, what's going on? Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll get to your comments here. Uh, already 329 people in here. Um, we're only about three minutes in. We really haven't even started yet. Uh, let's um, let's bring Gene on and ask him some questions here. Uh, Gene, how are you? What's going on? What's going on, dude? Where you been? Uh, I've been all right. Just, uh, just hanging. How are you been with yourself? All right. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Right out of the gate, someone uh, wants to know, uh, I want to know what Gene thought of that video A-Like did about you. Um, What, the video that he did on you? Correct. I thought it was funny. You thought it was funny? <laughs> you didn't think it was funny? I mean, I I mean, I guess if you find stuff like that funny. I thought it was more, you know, it was, I don't think it was a particularly strong attempt. I mean, I, my hair is not that long, but... <laughs> But, but I know you're in the middle of a rock and a hard place. But, Gene, I, I got to ask. I mean, we haven't talked to you in a while. I see you moving around. You're going on vacations. And you're interviewing with all sorts of people. There was a guy recently, and I know you saw it, this guy called Rob May, Shooting the Dice is his channel. Right. Uh, it's a pretty small channel. I went on there. That was pretty cool. Um, he claims recently that he gave you money for an interview, and you just – didn't show up. Right. So with that being said, 
I did um I probably did a, about a hundred interviews already, maybe something around there. And um I always get paid usually five hundred to a thousand dollars. That's usually what I charge. That's that's what I charge. And I get it usually. I did him the favor because of you. He said he knew you. He says that um he begged me basically. I was like, okay, this is what I charge because I don't have money really. I said, oh, listen, I'll do you the favor. Just throw me a hundred dollars. I said, all right, no problem. You know, I just did it because he said he was good, friendly with you. Me and you always have a good report together. I got along with you, so I was like, all right. Sure enough, he gives me a link from an Instagram. I never done it like that before. He wanted me to go into Instagram, and then when I was trying to sign to the link, it wouldn't let me. I says, bro, it's not letting me. He goes, okay, let me try a different one. He sends me another one. It's not working. I'm like, bro, now it's twenty minutes in. I says, all right. He goes, let's do it tomorrow. Then he sent. He wants to do it at nine in the morning. I'm like, I can't do it at nine in the morning. Then he gets nasty with me and says, oh, you know, you didn't show up. You're hard to work with. I says, bro, I'm doing you the favor. I don't need your little podcast. You know what I mean? Not to be mean. Like, I'm doing you a favor. I don't need your publicity. I don't need nothing from you. You know what I mean? So it was just uh, he got too, um, how could I say it? Like, like I owed him something now. Right. And uh, that's all it was. And then he went and did that video. And I didn't even think he was going to do that. I still was going to do the video. I just says, buddy, you're being a little annoying. I'll do what you did now. And he went and did that. And that was all it was. I think he wanted the attention one way or another. You know what I mean? So you think he did that in a, in a way to, to kind of get your name out there because he knows you get views and... Right, yeah. You know as well as I know. People love to hate me. You know I'm, I'm very watched. You know, and people use me to get, you know, clickbait. And that's just what it's going to be. You know what I mean? I, I was told by that by many people. And that's, that's what goes on, you know? Well, let me ask you. I mean, a, a lot of people are going to ask this. I mean... Don't you think you should have given him the money back? Yeah, I was going to until he put that video up. Now I'm not. You're just like, fuck it. Well, if he didn't put that video up, I would have did the interview. Now I'm not. Now now I'll take the $100 and rip it on on air. That's what I'll do. Because I, Listen, Gene, I got to tell you, I, I regardless of what you do, you are pretty funny with certain things. Because yeah, I could be an well, asshole. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and listen, again, you know, we, we know that at times you're not always truthful. You have lied, right? Let's just be honest. About what things, though? Well, I, you said certain things that... that oh, that, well, oh, you heard about Ali Shades? I didn't know, though. I thought I was robbing well, Ali all right. Shades. That's beside the point. I'm, yeah. All I'm saying is, um, so you you kind of admit now that, you know, again, the guy, the guy was um, making it difficult. I will say, and this is just my opinion, I found it to be quite easy. That said, yeah. if you don't use the program on a regular basis, fine. Maybe it didn't work. Um, but you, you were just kind of annoyed that the kid put the video out and, and try to bam out you. Yeah. If you want to did that, I still would have did the video. I still would have did it with him. I do. I did so many interviews and I get paid good money. I get flown out and they pay for my hotel. Like that's what I get. You know what I mean? I'm that in this genre. I'm, I'm very, you know, established, you know, as one of the top ones that get the most views and I'm going to get what I want. That's just right. what it is. Fair enough. I understand. Also, um, you, You've done, you've said a lot about Joey Molina over the last couple of months, and I, I heard recently, and maybe you can, maybe you can talk about what, what's going on here. But recently, Joe Snuff, his co-host, said on a live show that during the show he was receiving calls from Florida and New York numbers, right? Most of which are coming from Tampa. Do you have anything to? Oh, say really? About that? And they thought it was me, Snuffy Luffy. I, I don't know if they. I, I'm just saying that. I mean, you have had beefs with them, so maybe you, maybe it was his deal. He probably owed him some money. I don't know. Well, he's uh, not. Uh, come on, Gene. You can't say stuff like that. He's in recovery. He's been in recovery for a while. He did recover. Say that again. He recovered. What do you mean? He's a recover. He uh, he stopped doing drugs. I thought he was still a junkie. No, nah, you can't be uh -huh. saying stuff like that. All right. Well, um, I wasn't sure, but. Like Gee, said, what do you see the people that call you crackhead? You can't call people you know, say they're drug addicts and stuff. Well, I'm just saying he said that he, you know, he said he used to do sexual favors for drugs. That's what I was told. Nah, I don't know. Gene, That's listen. what I was told. But come on, Gene. You that. can't come, Gene. Listen, you can't. I'm not going to allow you to come on here. Look, I like talking to you occasionally, but you can't yeah. come on and say shit like that. I, I let me ask you. I don't know why you're being so hostile right now towards him. I mean, he, all I'm saying is he didn't say it was you. He just said on the live that no, he thought it was me. me. He thought it was me. Was it okay? So was it you? No, it wasn't me. And I would have told him he's a fucking bitch. What I care about him? I don't. I have nothing to say to him. What I don't like is the fact that what I, what I am happy about is that they abused Jeff Kanasi, which I hate Jeff Kanasi more than both of them. So actually, I'm kind of like not caring about them anymore. I just I I I did have a beef with them. Honestly, I wasn't calling him or pranking him or doing any of that to him. 
Um, I, he thought it was me, and um, it wasn't. So if you do tell him, tell him I said it wasn't me. Tell him that I wouldn't prank call him. I would see him in his face and abuse the shit out of him. I don't need to prank him. So that's all. Well, you mentioned Jeff Canarsi. What, what do you mean you're, you're in a good place with them? What do you mean? Oh, I'm actually happy that they abused Jeff. I love that Jerry Molino abused them. So I have a special hatred for Jeff Canarsi. It, it, it outweighs Stax. It outweighs Joey Molino. It outweighs everybody. So the fact that he abused um, Jeff Canarsi, it just makes me so happy. Because that's all Jeff Canarsi had was that he was this Philly guy. And he was with Joey Molino. And it was all fake and bullshit like we know. And Joey outed him. And I just love it. So, okay. so you you have you had no issue with that. Let me ask you, do you, you know, you're the only one that's done this on YouTube. And and again, other than some of the trolls on here, I mean, don't you think you go a little too hard? Like, why do you yeah. think those wives and things? That's not that has nothing to do with it. So here's the thing. So yeah, real gene, man, man, that's like if if someone said something about your mom or your like, let's say you yeah. had a wife, like that's kind of a low blow, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I go low as the low blow because you want to know why? Because he's saying things that are disrespectful and I'm going to let him know things about his little secrets that we have. You know what I mean? So it's only fair. You know what I mean? You're not going to be able to say what you want and I can't. Like, here's the thing with me, Jeff. Nobody controls me. Nobody's going to tell me what to say and not to say. And that's why I'm so popular in this genre because I don't hold back. I tell it what it is. I just tell it how I feel. If I like you, like personally, I like you. If I didn't, I tell you I don't fucking like you at all. I think you're a jerk off. And that's just what it is. Red says, Gene is full of shit. Never came across anyone who's actually that tough in real life, and I got three prison stays under my belt. What do you have to say to him? I would say, Red, you look like something out of a fucking horror show. I don't know. I don't know, buddy. I never heard of you. Keep banging. Yeah. Okay. So, again, but but you, I don't know that you really answered the question. I mean, again, that doesn't – what did the, the – what does anyone's family do? They, didn't, they don't know you. I mean, he, I, don't he really, I don't think he even knows you. I mean, he was running his mouth about it. Yes, he was. Listen, we could sit here and play all those games. He knows very well. He, one of my guys became one of his spiders. So I, he knows me very well. And everyone knows who I was over there. That's all bullshit, okay? And you're talking about you're talking about Tuccio. Pete Tuccio was my little son, okay? So I raised that kid, basically. So, yes, he know, you know exactly who I was and what I was doing. That's all fake. I, I They all do that. I never heard of this guy. That's like their go-to move. You know what I mean? You can be in a picture with them and they'll say that. But you're, you're saying at this point you are done – Saying stuff about yeah, him. he said he didn't. He said he never heard of John Rubio. He's on wiretap with John Rubio. Like, give me a break. I know. Come on. I have no right. idea who John Rubio is. You know, fucking picture with him, hugging him. Yeah, okay, buddy. Now, do you know right. John Rubio? I very well. Whatever happened to him? He just don't want to be bothered. You introduced me to him. Yeah, he just don't want to be bothered. You know, it's you know things he just don't want to be bothered because you know I've seen all the wiretaps. I read all the conversations. For someone to say he doesn't know somebody, I mean, he has like. Thousands of pages of wiretaps with him, <laughs> but whatever. Well, I, I, I don't think I've, I didn't ever heard him say he didn't know him. I, I, that's interesting, but okay. So you know, again, I, I will say recently you've kind of been out of the, the 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 nonsense. Are you done with that? You're moving on in your life. You haven't went back to the girlfriend. You know, your old no, girlfriend. No, no, absolutely not. No, no. Okay, Can't maybe you're girl, maybe you're moving on in a little bit. Yeah, you know, like I said, 99 prom I got 99 problems, but a woman ain't one. So I get plenty. It's okay. I'll be all right. You know, I have to say, Gene, I have an idea for you that I haven't talked to anyone about. I'm not going to bring it up here, but I have an idea that I think could be very good with you, to be honest. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you would be, like, the best person to do it. Um, if anybody has any questions for Gene, we'll uh, we'll, we'll see what he's up to. Um I do want to talk about Dom Sakali. I don't know if we'll do it with Gene here. I don't want to get Gene in any trouble. But um, real quick, you went out to see Sammy Gravano. What was up with that sleepover? Did you have a sleepover with him or what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. I was with my cousin Anthony in the hotel and my friend uh, Mike. And, um, you know, he's a cool guy. I got I, I got along with him. You know what I mean? Um, you know, for the most part, he's Sammy Gravano. You know what I mean? It's like a, a, a mafia dictionary. So, you know, like I said, people could say what they want about him. But at the end of the day, he was a part of mob history. That's just what it is. You know? Jake says, why did you come on here with a knockoff Godfather shirt on? Well, it's the Johnny and Gene show, Dickweed. So this is our logo for like four years. So, you know, that's why. Okay. Are you still doing that show or what? Yeah, we're on it still. Let's help the guy out that couldn't see it. Here he goes. The Johnny and Gene show. They're 40 bucks. You want one? Samsung Cats is Gene. Ronnie G might get an early release date. Are you excited for that? Yeah, I can't wait, man. <laughs> well, listen, 
let's not bring him into it. He's, um, you know, he's probably moving on with his life. It's all good. Yeah. Um, so what's in the future with Eugene? What's going to um, happen? So, uh, like I said, right now, um, we'll be filming my pilot soon for what's going on, what I've been working on for a couple of years. Um, I should be on Netflix soon with the Sam Bankman documentary. I know it's coming out shortly, and uh, they, I was on it. So um, I think it's going to be on Netflix or Prime, one of them. And uh, that should be airing, I think, in the next two months. Oh, and wait, they're they, doing a minute. What are you, like a consultant on or something? Well, yeah, but they want to know things. You know, I was in there with him, and I did fight the guy for him. You know, it's on public – that's public record, so it's not like it could be, like, a lie. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, you know, confirmed. You know, they had to confirm it themselves, actually, to go into everything. And um, they, you know, interviewed me in New York City, and it's going to be on Netflix. I did believe Netflix or Prime, one of them. I'm not sure. So do you think um, – what do you think will happen with him? You think he'll, he's going to be fine in jail? They're not going to put him anywhere too bad, do you think? Well, he only got 25 years, so I don't think he's going to start in a penitentiary, which is great. You know, if he would have got, like, 50, he would have been fucked. He would have been in a penitentiary. He would have been a maximum crazy federal security, and he would have been screwed. Baby D says, would you do a Gene versus Jimmy Calandra UFC event? I would beat the brakes off him, but yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. <laughs> What's your deal with him? Are you you're not a fan of him? No, I'm cool with him. I'm gonna do a show with him soon. With Jimmy? Yeah, me and Jimmy and Johnny are gonna sit down together. Hmm. I th I didn't know that you all liked each other. Yeah, we did. That me and Jimmy were actually always cool. Then when I went to jail and came out, he was fighting with everybody. I was actually talking to him for a while, and then we got cool, and then um, he started fighting with everybody. But yeah, we're fine. Okay. So you you've been talking and you've been pushing out this idea that you're doing some sort of scripted TV show or something. Well, it's not it's not an idea. It's it's pretty much getting funded and um it's going to be huge. Yeah. Are you going to talk about what you're doing? Or I what can't. So doing? the thing is, you have to sign things, Jeff, and I can't say the networks. I can't say things. They already yelled at me for certain things, so I can't say exactly what's going on. But it'll be it'll be in everybody's face shortly. Okay. Samsung Cat ha did make it a funny comment, Gene. You want to see it? Yeah. Sure. He said, did you get that roofing job yet? <laughs> you know what? Listen. You did lie went, about that. I went to jail for that. You know, honestly, Jeff, you want to know the fucked up part? The guy that told me that got me the paperwork, he really said that he could get me that, that job. But I was never going down there to do that job. But he was just getting me down to Florida. You understand? Yeah. Well, you, you would say that, and I've mentioned this to you before. I mean, you got really lucky with Block as your judge. He's the he, – listen to me. If it was any other judge, Jeff, I would have got five years. Known yes. facts, proven facts, 100%. I had the whole Eastern District against me. Prosecutors, everybody was against me. Every single person in that building. They even had the chief of organized crime to come in my sentencing and tell the judge they wanted me to get max security time. He told them to go fuck themselves, basically. Okay. Yeah, no, you definitely got lucky with him. I mean, you, yeah. you, get, you get the judge like Sam Bankman had, you, you would have had – Probably. He's the worst judge in the Southern District. Capitalism. I will say, Gene, uh, you know, and I, I have to make this clear. I thought what you said, you know, you were way off to talk about his wife. Who, wife. Joey? Yeah, I, I thought that was wrong. I think you, know what? you know what? He goes on, he, you know, let's that, you know, all he talks about is uh, anti rat, and that's fine, but he, he operates like a rat now, so I don't even care no more. I let him just do what he wants. I'm happy that he abused Jeff Kanofsky. That, like, makes me so happy. But at the end of the day, I'm sure if I ran into him, me and him would still have words, 100%. What's your What's your beef with Canarsie? What, what oh, you my do? God. He's been my arch nemesis since I started. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Me and that guy have been going at it since 2020. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people have issues with him. I couldn't stand that dude. Listen to me. I swear to you, I used to dream about going back to jail over him. I swear to you, man. Uno, Texas, does Gene still have your La Cosa Nostra tattoo? What the fuck is that? Your Omerta tattoo. Yeah, of course. I'll never take it off. It's a part of my life. I don't care. Well, as listen. As you still have my name on his neck. Well, listen, I do, will say this for you and Tech. I mean, keep in mind, when he got that tattoo, it was probably a different story for him. But uh, you two said your live was shut down due to violating community guidelines. Yeah, it was. They shut me off yesterday. Uh, Iris says Joey and Gene in a boxing match. Who would win? I mean, Joey 30 years ago would probably be all right. I mean, Joey now, I'm going to beat the fuck out of him. Obviously, He's not fuck you up, though. 62 years old, bro? Are you kidding me? You ever see that guy? He's. I man. don't give a... He's 5'3". Come on, bro. That don't mean shit. He's 5'3". fucking 120 pounds. I'm 6'2", 200. Come on, bro. Chief Giuseppe says, I got a question. How does it feel to be a rat and still think you're a tough guy? 
because I do what I want, when I want, how I want, no one does shit about it. I walk around where I want, I go in New York, do what I want, go see people, see gangs who see me, they do nothing, I abuse them. That's why. We have over 900 people in here. I will say, Gene, uh, listen, regardless of what they say about Gene, people I'm watch him. When it comes down to this stuff, Judge Jeff, they can't fuck with me. Only two guys got me, Mike Francis and fucking Sammy Gavano. Other than that, I take the cake. That's just what it is. 906 people in here. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button if you're enjoying the show. Do me a favor. Um, if you have any questions for Gene, feel free to ask. Now's your chance. Uh, someone says, why is Jeff doing a sit-down with Gene when he makes videos about rats and etc.? cetera? Uh, so what? Because I'm a fucking journalist. Boy. Exactly. That's a stupid question. I, I don't know if you're know, aware to Are you him, a street guy? Are you a gangster? Are you on record no. in the crew? I no. don't care about that whole rat thing. I've right. talked about that time and time again. And most of the people on here that talk about, I hate rats. <laughs> they they all have certain rats, so they don't mind. Oh, they all and pick and choose. They all they all love John Jr., though. The, the, the biggest rat. It's hysterical. Yeah. Uh, you said that, not me. Uh, that <laughs> said that we, <laughs> just to make this clear, we all know John Jr. sat down with the government. There's a five-page 302 out there. Um, I so read his 302. Want... Sammy Gavano has his 302s. I've seen them with my own eyes. Yeah, we all have. You can Google yeah. it. They're yeah. all Google. Uh, Mike DiBella, $20. Hey, Mike, thanks, bro. I hope all is well, Mike DiBella. Mike DiBella is a good man. Um, Damien Dettori says, I think Gene's always going to be a street guy. He'll never change. What do you think of that? Gene, but... a lot of people have that sentiment about you. You'll never grow up. What do you think? It's not about that. This is me, and I'm going to be honest with you, and I hate to sound like this. I'm a different person, but, like, here's the thing. No one's abusing me. It's not happening. I ran into – um, I don't want to say the exact person, but I was in a casino. I ran into someone, and I had to abuse the shit out of them. And, you know, and this is what happens because people think, like, they're just going to say what they want to me, and it's just not going to happen. Not in this lifetime. You know, I'm a good person. I have a good heart, but Gene's no pussy. I didn't need the mafia to be a tough guy. I was tough before I was with them. And if you think that you're going to approach me and say what you want, you're sadly mistaken. I'm just sorry. That's just Here what it go. is. By the way, Craig5835, you seem to have a lot to say. So why don't you – here, I'll drop the link. You can come on and talk. You want to do that, Gene? Sure. Who is he? Uh, he he has a lot to say about you. I don't know. Okay. Let's see who he is. Craig what? Um, Jesse Little says, what did you think about Vinny Asaro's death? You, you know what? At the end of the day, I was upset about it. Vinny taught me a lot. It is what it is. You know, to me, I never talk bad about Vinny. Vinny was a – Vinny exactly – Vinny is what he was, and he went out like a fucking gangster, and that's just what it is. There's nothing to say about him. Of course, Vinny was Vinny was that guy. That's just what it is, man. Can't take that you, from you were, him. You were born what year? 84. Okay. Do you remember the O.J. Simpson stuff or no? Absolutely. Okay. Have you heard the rumor that – Bullshit. His... Bullshit. Come on, I bro. Just... Listen, I guys. Think, I think he hired somebody, but I don't think it was that guy. Listen, we've had fun with we had fun with this yesterday. It was it was a fake funny story though. It, it's just a it's it's there's a guy running around. He's on every show. This guy's talking about it. He has all this information. It's it's bullshit. Right. Guys, don't believe it. Um, what else do we have here? A lot of people in here. A lot of people. Um, somebody's talking about a hung out. Wait. I don't. Some of you guys, uh, hold on. Let me get through some of these things here. Um, Gene, please tell Gene to come to reality and he's a bum. Tell him to become a man. Stop being a man child. <laughs> yo, hey, you know, it's funny. Yo, I deal with these people me. all the time, Gene. Huh? I deal with these people all the time, and it's always like the guys with no photos and no names. And... Okay, by the way, here's what we'll do let's drop the link. And if you want to come on and talk to Gene, um, let's do it. You're not they won't, show, they won't show their face. I get DMs all the time. They don't show their face. They're on fake pages. So show me who you are. Okay, fair enough. Uh, if you got to come on, you got to show your face. Uh, Big Ops says, Jeff, you can't fight anything. I, I don't think I've ever said the word fight on this I don't channel think, ever. When the fuck did you ever say you were going to fight anybody? Never. Yo, you know a lot of these guys are brain dead. You know, right? Half of them are fucking brain dead. So don't even, don't even worry about it. Yeah, we've got uh, uh, 1,027 people in here. Thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, hit that like button. If you'd like to support the channel further, make sure you donate. Send in a super chat. Uh, I got to pay Gina. Here's the thing I got to be honest with you, Jeff. Johnny Eli, that's like my family. I don't like the situation we used to. I really don't like it. I fucking hate it, to be honest with you. And I tell him the same thing. But, you know, used to, you need to stop the bullshit. It's got to stop. 
I mean, not for nothing. I don't. I. I still. I always say, respect the way you operate. I always respect the way you work. You're fair, but some, sometimes you take information from the wrong people and you just say it. Sometimes. But listen, Gene. At the end of the day, the video I did on John, I thought was fair. You know. Um, yeah, but he wasn't the favorite Albanian. Everyone knows John, uh, Johnny Light was. Listen, that that was, and I admitted this. That may have been a little too far. Take yeah. a shot at him. Um, which again, I, I'm we're not, you know, I'm not gonna talk about him. You know, he's doing his thing. I'm gonna do mine. Yeah. Uh, we obviously dealt with that. Uh, Hello World says, who was the one that chased Gene out of Howard Beach? That would be nobody. That was me hopping out of class because I'm not on probation. The one I could say it. I pulled the knife out on them, and there was ten of them, and they ran for me at first, and then when I was leaving, they were videoing me. That's what happened. So if they show the full video, they'll see that I pulled a knife out on them. Ten of them tried to run one over with a car. And that's what happened. Let's talk real now. I'm not on this probation no more. That's what really happened. Francesca said, did you ever hear any stories about Joey Messino? Yeah, I did. He's a fat scumbag and killed people for no reason and killed people to take their businesses. And he's the biggest piece of shit in the face of the earth. But Gene, hold on a second. Hold on. Gene, listen. He's a dog. Gene, you ran in women's homes at Rob. That's a lie. That's a lie. But Gene, you, he's a monster. That's a lie. He's a mobster. Gene. He's not a mobster. He's a scumbag. He killed people for no reason. That's not a mobster. A gangster kills people when they have to, not because they want to. Come on, man. All right. So one of your trolls is here, Gene. He wants to talk to you. Good. Get and him it's on. It's actually the guy that called you a bum and that you'll never be a man. All right. So get him on. Yeah, I have no idea. What's now then, don't don't you know? Don't get his band on here, right? Please. No. Well, then right. be careful because you know you never know what he might say. All right, King Kong. Yeah, let's see King Kong. Go ahead, King Kong. He, look, he probably looks like, oh, my God, look at this fucking guy. Oh, no, let, him let him talk. Go ahead. Oh, Kim. my God. What do you What do you mean, Faye, Kev? What's oh, up, what's King up? Kong? How you doing? You, you've got to grow up. You can't even talk. Oh, you right. fucking mess right but now? You've got to grow up. You Come on, King what Kong. What do you mean I'm on meth? You're a fucking coke. You're a fucking crackhead. Look at you, bro. You Why don't you grow look up? Look at your face. What'd you get hit in the face with a shovel? What's up? You all right? It's because I'm holding. Because I'm It's because I'm holding the phone. You you. Where are you from? UK? Australia? What are you, a fucking mate? Why don't you grow up? Why don't you grow up, mate? What are you, a crocodile dundee? Yo, I am from Australia. Oh, you're from Australia, mate. What are you, hunting crocodiles? You're you got fucking good. Your ass. <laughs> Listen, Gene, let it, Gene, let him talk. Go ahead. Listen, King, Kong. Say that. King Kong, King Kong, hold on, hold on. Whoa! Speak your piece. Why Don't call me out. Like Just speak your man. Bro, you call me out from Australia. Why what you good act is that, like bro? A you call me out from fucking Australia. What good is that? What good is that? What the fuck you, is that going to do? You what said the fuck? No one, what the said fuck? No one what the on. fuck can that do for you? Call me out from Australia. What could that do for you? Nothing. In person, I would fucking abuse well, you. Well, you. No, what? you said come on. No one will come on and talk to you. Don't so talk I came to you, on. So talk. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that right. word. Don't say that talk. word. Talk. You're a good King Kong. Why don't you grow up? Why don't you eat a dick? You're talking about dicks and faggots. Dick. That's all you got listen, in your mind. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Don't say King that word again. Yeah, King Kong. Listen, you look like you've been chewing on rocks for the last three years. Get this guy out of here. Take what care. Your lips. Have a look at yourself, lips. Your wife loves them. Yeah, my wife loves him. <laughs> I, I saw the, Yo, I, saw the video, I saw the video of you and I your girlfriend. Video, you're like, you can't please, even talk. Babe, please, please, baby, yeah, babe. yeah. What good is your little girl? You? you got your three minutes you, of fame. And, Where's your and wife? Then you come on these videos and you act uh, all the time. Yo, Just let me ask you a question, in. King Kong. King Kong, I where's your wife? All I'm saying to you is, grow up. I don't want to grow up. Too fucking bad. Hey, guess what? I don't want to grow up. How about that? Go fuck yourself. I don't feel like growing up. I'm doing what I want. How about that? And then you turn around and you, and then when you your girlfriend says you're going to call the cops and you might go back to jail, you cry like a little girl. Never. I did 13 years. How much time uh, you did? How much time you what? did? I've done 10 years. Yeah, and for I've what? Never... Kids? What did you huh? do time for? What an armed robbery. Were you stealing kids at school? Shut no, up. Just, please, don't, please, don't say stuff like that. Listen, King Kong, uh, we're, we're going to let him go. He, he, I, I try to give, hold on. I try to give him the opportunity. He's he's just going back and forth. It's not, You're a fucking idiot. Okay, that was fun. 
<laughs> Get another one. I like this. <laughs> yeah. All right, Gene, settle down, settle down. A uh, couple of questions, and then we'll bring on the next person. We're not going to have everyone on for the whole show, just trying to keep people moving here. Um, someone says Gene's going to get himself hurt if he comes to Philadelphia. Oh, my God. Yeah. Listen, I Adrian, you don't, uh, let, let's remember, this is all just, you know, obviously we're not condem condemning anyone to, to get hurt or anything. Um, wouldn't, why did the mob retaliate on you for <laughs> The why didn't they? Correct. Because it's washed up. What do you mean by that? There's no killers no more. It's just what it is. It's not like that no more. Have you been to Howard Beach in a while? I used to live there, bro, afterwards. <laughs> I was living there. <laughs> okay. Hollywood Wade, what do you want to say? Yo, what's up, big dog? What's up? I actually had Gene on last night. And this is a question that I meant to ask him. And if you guys have covered it, I'm sorry, but... I figured it would be a good time because like everybody in this whole genre has beefs with each other. Right. And Gene, you're obviously tight with John. You covered that. You did go down there and hang out with Sammy. You and Anthony done that together. How do you navigate being in the middle of those two when they don't like each other? Because that happens a lot in this whole genre. How do you handle that? So everyone knows, I mean, for the most part, a lot of people do like me. So I get along with everybody. And um, what I try to do with all the ex-gangsters is I try to make everybody be friends. And I feel like we would be better off together than fighting. Because at the end of the day, we're the entertainment. And people don't realize that, that people have their shows because of us. So without us, there is no shows. And that's what I try to explain to them. Use that to your advantage. But it becomes a pissing contest. And that's always going to be like that. That's just not saying that for Sammy... Or Johnny, that goes for anybody. If you put five gangsters in a room together, it's bad. You can't have it. It's almost, I did this, I'm this. I, I was like that myself, so I know. So it's more of a, when it comes to them, they were both serious, dangerous guys for the same organization. Yes, yeah, Sammy wasn't on the boss because he was Italian. But what would John A. Light would have been if he was Italian? You never know. You never know if he was Italian what he would have been in that world because he was a killer, he was a tough motherfucker, and he was an earner, just like Sammy Gavano. So you don't really know the outcome. Johnny was an Albanian. He was Italian. So he got to prosper in the life. I believe Johnny A. Light would have prospered in the life. So to me, it's just a pissing contest. And when they get over that, everything will be fine. That's all. And so, I won't get in the middle. I says, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to fight with you because I want to. I have plans. I want to get past all this shit. We could do a lot together. We're basically like celebrities. I know it sounds crazy, but we are. So we need to start working together. That's all. So it really doesn't, I mean, it's not, John wouldn't be upset that you went and done the thing with Sammy. No, he realizes told, it's just business. I told Johnny beforehand and I told Sammy beforehand, I'm not getting involved with this. I like you both. Even though I'm a lot closer with John, I said, you know, it's good to go on. We're going to get a lot of views, da, da, da. And he says, yeah, go ahead. I don't care, man. So that's just what it was. Fair enough. I won't have up chat, Jeff. I just thought that'd be a good question to ask. That's a good question, actually, Wade. Good yeah. question. So wait, you're gonna have Gene on here soon, or we actually recorded last night. I don't do lives, but by watching, wait, I showed guys, up. Wait, huh? I showed up. Wait, you did show up. You oh, all show right, up. I was on time. Yeah, you were on time. All right, okay, yeah. yeah. Actually, right. I still heard that a little bit. All right, but uh, yeah, I didn't do it live. But after watching what you guys just did, it might be better to do a live next time. I want to um, I want to address this comment. Gino Stanelli, who about a week ago was a huge fan of this channel. You ain't no real mobster. You're a rat. Your name ain't never been passed around. Jeff, you only interview rats because no real wise guy would ever talk to you. Yeah, okay, because so wait, hold on, Jeff. Hold on. Let me let me just give one second. Okay, dickhead. Yeah, because a real wise guy is not allowed to come on. They would love to. Okay, here's the first of all. No social media if you really are around. You're not allowed to have it. You're not allowed to be on any kind of social media. You'll be shelved or killed. You know, that's the rules. So what you're saying right now is bullshit because I know a lot of wise guys would love to come on these channels. And then not for nothing, see. I'm going to make this clear. Joey Molino's on, on a fucking channel, and he's an active gangster. So, well, whatever he is, I don't know. But so let's, let's explain to this moron is that we bring the views. Okay, buddy? So who do you want him to interview? Boring people that aren't going to make his show good? Right now, he's over a thousand. No, no. Right now, you have over how many people in your life? Like around 1,200. Around 1,200. When's the last fucking time you're going to see that? Come on, buddy. Gino, and, get, and get not together. for nothing, Gino, and I'll be honest, I don't I don't tell and discuss who I talk to, but, I mean, if I've done this for three-plus years. If I don't have certain people calling me at this point, I'm probably not doing it correctly. Now, sometimes they're not happy with what I say. But, yeah, if you don't think I talk to people, they'll never come on. You're right. And that sucks because 
they have so many great stories and it's a shame that they're never going to tell them. Um, but yeah, Gino, again, you were like a fan of mine about a week ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was so, all good just a week ago. <laughs> it, it's yeah, the it's gene awesome. factor, man. When you got gene on, they come after you. I told gene yesterday, I got more comments in his video <laughs> than any video I've ever done. You know, and, you know why? Because I say how I feel. I say what I feel and they know I'm all out here. I don't care about no one or nothing. Like, I don't care. Let's have fun. Come on, buddy. I'm on. <laughs> Wade, good to see you. Hope all is well, man. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me on. Yes, yeah. See Everybody go follow a Wade, Hollywood Wade, Crime Entertainment. Go check him out. Uh, Wade's got an interesting story in his own right. I want to say hello to Clint Wilson. How about that, Gene? $50. You know, I got to pay a lot to Gene to come on here, so, you know, this is all going to go to him. Uh, like uh -oh. him or not, but Gene's right. No one is going to do anything to him. A lot of talkers. Um and that's just where the mafia is, sadly, on the totem pole at this point. But, um, Jeff, I always keep it 100. And like I said, 20, 30 years ago, I would not be doing this. And let me find they would have a fucking hit squad running around. They just don't have that no more. And that's, can I say, it's just so watered down. It just doesn't go on no more. But like I said, if this is the 90s, they would, you couldn't even be doing the show with me right now. Straight up. They would shoot you as well. So that's, what, seriously. No, you're... Listen, I've said before, and I've told you, Gene, if yeah. you came up in the 80s, you're dead. Sure. Dead. 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 I, listen, were... I'm a realist. I'm a fucking realist. I would have been dead nine times. They would have killed me nine times over. Yeah. Yeah, you were revolutionary, and they would have stomped you out quite quickly. Absolutely. Um, I don't I don't deny that. Absolutely. Uh, a couple of more here. Uh, Remington Connors, $2. Is, is Gene, Gene, is Barney feared in the streets? Yeah, extremely respected, extremely feared, serious gangster, one of the ones I always have respect for. He actually wanted my head on a stick one time. And, um, for you know, he's a, he's a very dangerous. Um, I beat up uh, Conrad's nephew in his house for Uncle for Vinny. I'm still calling him Uncle Vinny. You see this? I'm beating him up for it's his nickname, Vinny Star. I, Vinny Star sent me to beat up a guy, and I beat him up in his house, and it was Conrad's nephew, one of his captains. And it was a whole, I beat him up in front of the mother. I kicked the door, and it was bad. So yeah, you're one talking of those. about Conrad from the West Side, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. Uh, people call their people snitches, but will never do the things that they've done. Right, I did a lot. True. Um, I bet the dude that's saying this shit won't come up and say. Well, he actually did come on, but he didn't say much. He just kept going back and forth with Gene. Um, what else do we have here? Read your super chat. How do you feel? How does Gene feel about flipping on his friends? In quotation marks. Yeah, so the only one that bothered me flipping on was Vinny. I didn't flip on. I only, I only, let me just, I had profits. The only guys I really, they used before, excuse me, was Vinny, Ronnie, and um, my robbery team. Everyone else I didn't, I didn't help them with. I just gave profits. I, they only needed me. I was the last guy to cooperate. They needed me for the two main guys, Vinny and Ronnie. That was it. And I did not want to cooperate on Vinny. It took me like a while to do it. So are you a rat? you agree yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, in the mafia terms, yeah. I mean, to the government, they don't like that. They'll say you did the right thing. But in the mafia world, I ratted, yes. Nani says, Gene, you were never going to be anything. You're not even full of time. You're an associate. You're a busboy. So ready for this? What's John Jr. again? What was his nationality? As far as I know, he was not full of time. Oh, let me ask you another question. What A lot was, of people weren't. Hold on. Jerry Astaro was mm, half Irish. Um, still is. He's a captain. Um, Al Trucchio, who's my buddy, he's half Irish. Um, we can keep naming them. That's not true. I was 75, 25, and I was becoming a member, but it's all right. It's all past. But yeah, I listen, the guys. truth is, I mean, that's the whole like you're an associate thing. I mean, Joe Watts was an associate. My bro, I was a beast in the street, bro. I used to have people scared to death. Yo, you get phone calls about me. You don't have to well, say. And it. I'm not. And I want to make it clear. I'm not comparing Gene to Joe Watts. I'm just yeah. saying, like Jimmy Burke wasn't Italian. Right. right, Willie Boy Johnson was an Italian. My last name, my last name is full. I have four last. It's, I have four Italian last names. They wouldn't even know I'm not full if I didn't say it. So I don't even care. Does it mean anything? No, obviously. I was right. a, I was Robin made guys. So tell them that one. All right, a couple of more here. Uh, Jeff, ask Gene why he calls himself a hitman. I don't think he calls him. You have to realize, I did not never did. And remember, I will say the one thing: a lot of guys in this genre that interview people. They use these goofy titles, right? Gene, I don't, I don't think he's ever said me to me that he was a hitman. Um, you weren't a hitman, right? No, no technically, I mean, you that was my person. department if I had to be, but uh, I was doing all that dirt, and they did send me to kill people, try to kill people. 
They did order me to kill people before, yes. But, I mean, I was not a hitman, no. That was something that they used for clickbait, and I asked them why they did that. You know, I never, ever betrayed that, and I never did that. Uh, a man died in my hands by accident in, in prison. That was it. I have That's all. How old is Gene? I hung out with Rock, Tony, and Frankie, boy. Damn. Yeah. Fucking Frankie Rock. Love him, boy. Yeah, he's passed away, man. So you know this guy? Know him very well, Tony. Uh, Tony Muscatella to talking about Frankie Rock. Frankie Rock was my dog, bro. He passed away in 2020. All right. A uh, couple more, and then we'll get you out of here. Um, Dino says, why do you talk about Messina like that but worship Romano? Okay. Because... To me, I know I worked with guys on the Joe Messino, and Joe Messino did a lot of fucked up shit. That's all. It's my opinion. Wait, but and as I said, Gene, and you know this, he was a mobster. Yes, he was, but he did a lot of fucked up shit. And you know why he broke a lot? Of, listen, he made his underboss a cop, which you can't do. His Sal Vitale oath it in as a fucking cop. Okay, so how are you right. making your underboss? He was just breaking all kinds of rules. He did what he wanted. He made up all these rules and broke them all. I feel like he's the epitome of just. Of just the just the con, he, you, he's supposed to take life. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What does Gene think about Hootie going on these shows saying his crew this, his crew that? That's far. From What's wrong story. with him saying that? Hootie hung out with everybody. Hootie was really with them guys. I grew up around him. Why? Right. Well, I... Yeah, Dex. Um, yeah, you know, this isn't about Hootie. We're not talking about Hootie. Someone saying that guy was awesome. Yes, he was. People were saying that was so fucking funny. <laughs> Who do you think won that fight? Was it Gene or the other guy? Come on. You know I abused him. He was sick. He's like, come on, mate. <laughs> come on, mate. Uh, Why do they Jeff, sound like that? Even the girls. How do you, can you, how do you, can you imagine about, what the girls sound like, Jeff? Fuck me, mate. <laughs> how do you feel about your cousin or Uncle Andy's dad being buried in a suit Joey paid for? I don't know what that even means. I have no idea. Yeah, Sam's like, I don't know what the hell you're on about. I don't know what that even means. Uh, anyone have any other questions for Gene? We're, we're kind of, uh, we're just seeing a bunch of people laughing because they found that uh, argument fun. We, we only had one guy that didn't like you, Gene. Um, yeah, I'm usually very liked around here, bro. He's a real one for showing his face. Yes, he was. Yes, he Definitely was. was, man. It looked like he was fucking chewing on rocks when he showed it. Dirty Purdy says King Kong will slap the shit out of Gene. LMA. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, um, I have gotten people that have contacted me about Gene. So I, you know, I'm not saying I look. I wasn't around them. I was it really validated? Know. Was I validated, Jeff? Can you say that? Some people you? said you were. Yeah, and and let, I'll just say this: those people were not informers. Right. Uh, Kevin Kev says, "I think a dingo ate his baby." That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Chef Giuseppe, you have a lot to say, Chef Giuseppe. Uh, you, you, you're, you're, you're being mysterious, though. You're not coming on. Anthony Caserta says, Jeff, drop me the link. All right. Anthony Caserta wants the link, Gene. Are you scared? I don't have any idea who he is. Anthony Caserta will wait on you. Uh, what else is going on, Gene? What do you got going on uh, coming up? Uh, that's really it. Um, just been hanging out, man. You know, I'm... Um, uh... I got me a nice military truck. I got that H1, you know, the, the military. Yeah, what's the deal with that? What, what made you get that? My friend had it. I, bought, I got it off him. The thing is crazy, bro. It's big green. Every, that thing gets more looks than a Ferrari, bro. Everyone goes crazy over it. Now, you, um, are you picking up chicks in that thing or what? I mean, uh, yeah, but I'm kind of like talking to someone now, so I really don't even care about that. Anymore. You are? Yeah. Oh, who? Uh, I, it, Eventually, it will come out, but, you know, I'm kind of, like, uh, seeing someone, so. You're, like, exclusive? Uh, Almost. I think it will be. I don't know. We'll see. How about that? Blonde or brunette? Always blonde, bro. You don't like, like, the, the like, the. I've, been dealing with, I've dealt with brunettes my whole life, bro, growing up in fucking uh, Ozone Park, Howard Beach. So, do you think you're ever going to settle down and get married, or what? I hope so. We'll see. How about that? How old are you now? I'm 39. I'll be 40 in June, man. Okay. Okay. This Anthony Caserta wants to join. You want to have him on? I don't care. Yeah, sure. What's up, Barry Dean? How you doing? What's going on, man? Not a whole lot. Look, I ain't coming on here trying to, you know, I'm not a hater or nothing. First of all, I just want to say, Jeff, I'm a big fan of the show. Thank you. Um, 
Gene, I've been following your content for a while too. You know, uh, I'm originally from South Philly, but um, I live here in Nashville now. I just wanted to come on here, man, and say like, you know, <clears throat> these people, man, that come on here all the time and talk all this shit about I hate rats and all this. Like, I mean, to me, it's it's weird because it's like if you were never in the life, like, yeah, what, what are you talking about? Right. You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? If you, you hate rats, like, what the what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, my grandfather back in the day, um, you know, Jeff, I actually was going to email you and ask you what you knew about um, any of the connections that uh, Angelo Bruno had in Delaware County because my grandfather back in the day was doing a lot of stuff, running prostitution rings and stuff like that, and I found all these news articles. Yeah, let me know about that. But yeah, yeah no, no, I didn't want to say that. The thought of the, the whole rat this, rat that. And like we said earlier, people have their favorite rats where they don't talk as much about them. And, you know, we all know. It. All things. Right, right. You know, the thing with me is this. It's like, I know the position I was in. I know whatever I did. But, you know, my little brother was getting eight years. I got my little brother out of eight years. You know, I understand it's wrong, whatever. I, there's a lot of situations I was facing. Um, there was subpoena people fucking with a lot of people around me. After Vinny and Sarah beat that Latanza case, it was really a lot on me because um, they wanted him back in prison, and I was the only guy I was still committing crimes from. So they put a lot of pressure on me and fucked with a lot of people around me, and it became a real hassle. I sat in Rikers Island for 19 yeah. months in the toughest places, and you know what? I, I did. I, I sold out, and that's what it is. But you know, I live a pretty good life. Um, I, I don't mind what I did. You know, I know I know who I am, and um, I have a lot of good friends out here where I live now. And, you know, like I said, Anthony, I'm not trying to be a tough guy, but I don't back down from nobody. You know what I mean? So if they got something to tell me, you know, no, I live. Respect. Yeah, that's just the way respect, I am. Respect, man. No, I, I, Gene, I, I respect you, bro. I really do. Like, I, I, I respect all you guys. Because, look, man, I can't tell you how many people I know personally, you know, they, it, everybody wants to be a gangster, bro, until it's time to be a gangster. So it's time like, to be a gangster. Damn right. You know what I mean? Oh, like, if, if you ain't walked in somebody else's shoes, like, I mean, what can you really say? You know, what can you say? I Listen, I follow this shit for entertainment. Like, right. I do. I enjoy this stuff. You know, I enjoy it. And your book is good, too. You know what I mean? But I, I just want to tell you that. Well, listen, but, yeah, truth, Jeff, thanks for dropping the link. Yeah, no problem, bro. Thank you for the kind words. Send me an email, all right? All right. Y'all have a good night. Take See care, buddy. And, Gene, I'll say this, and I've said this before. Most of the people that are talking tough in these chats or, or coming on here and talking tough, they would flip over five, seven, ten years, right? Oh, oh, it's six easy, months. Oh, it's six easy months. to say, I would do this, I would do that. Jeff, and then you're listen to me. Years. Jeff, I was in solitary confinement for a long time, and I'm not complaining. I know a lot of people do. It's, it, it's a really hard thing on your brain. Um, I'm already ADD, ADHD, and I, I was diagnosed bipolar, all of that. So I had to sit in a cell by myself, locked in 24 hours for many months and times, and, you know, it fucks with you. You know, um, not everybody can handle it. I did handle it. I didn't mind prison. Um, but like I said, it took a toll on my brain. You know, I'm not I'm I'll never be the same, I think, from from all the solitary time I did talking to my the walls, you know, anyone knows like you have no one to talk to. And um, you know, it's pretty it's it, it'll make you really hate this criminal shit, you know, if you've really been through things. And um it's no excuse, but like I said, uh it took a toll on me, man, you know? And also remember too, okay. A lot of people on here think they're like Jordan Molino is a different type. Okay. Yeah. He's, he, he has his life. Okay. Yeah. A lot of you people aren't him. Right. Right. And I know you're trying to impress him. Like Stax. Okay. Stax has interviewed every rat on here. Now all right. of a sudden he hates rats. You know, it's. He still got that hot. black suit on. I swear, I think he sleeps in it. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he had that um, suit on for like six years. It don't come off his body. I think it's like glued on. I swear to God. <laughs> Giovanni says, God, that King Kong was brutal. Yeah, he, he I mean, I have no issue with him, but he, he he didn't really add much. He just kept talking over people. So yeah. Uh well, Gene, listen, I don't want to keep you on. You're welcome to stay if you want, but I don't I don't want to uh make you stay if you don't want to. No, whatever. We can have fun. I don't care. Yeah. So um someone asked earlier, um, do you have any businesses coming up? Like, what do you what do you got going on? Um, yeah. So, like I said, basically, I'm just been working on that project. The real thing is is the book with the TV show. So, we're what we're trying to do is we're not trying. It's done. I know people saying, "Oh, it's all talk." The pro the progress that I made 
in, in, in the time is it's almost impossible where I talk to producers and they says, by you getting this done so fast, it shows how many people are really interested and not saying because of me, it's not because of who I was. It's because it's the modern day. And what Hollywood looks for is new. Everyone, Mike Francis' story would be huge, but it's the 70s. Sammy Gavano's story would be huge, but it's the 80s. I'm the only modern day guy that could give you this. And that's why everyone's saying it's going to be a hit because it's new. Something that nobody has. So it's going to be about the 90s, 2000s, about the five boroughs, about the different crews, about what was coming up. And it's going to be a hit. And Hollywood producers believe it's going to be a hit. And I'm not talking about one, two, three. I'm talking about ten. So what I'm saying is that it's all being put together. And it's all going to be filmed, the pilot. And it's going to go to a big network. And they already want the script, the network. So that's what I'm trying to say where this is real. So it will be happening very shortly. And I just can't say with who. But it's going to be huge. And I've been working on this for a long time. You know, and Jeff, one of my biggest weapons is that everyone thinks I'm dumb. Furthest thing from it. I play dumb. Always been a thing I did. And I have a lot of ideas. And I think the TV show is going to be an absolute fucking hit. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Um, Mike DeBell says, are you still involved with your hand wash in Tampa? Yes. He's a silent partner. Pretty much. You're not actually washing cars, are you? No. <laughs> That's what people say you are. You're a towel boy, they say. Yeah, I'm a towel boy. I, I, put the, I put it on the tires. I do the uh, yes. stuff. Someone says, Jeff Nadeau is not in the mafia. He's a journalist. I don't know where the mods some of these years are. Yeah, exactly. I, listen. Also, don't come in here and tell me who to interview and who not to interview. I, I didn't ask your opinion. So. Really? Um, all right. Uh, Dan says, Gene, when are you going to come to South Philly? I don't know. Whenever they invite me, I'll come over there. I was in. I was in Philly. I don't think you would. I don't think you I would. Mean, what are they? What are they going to do? They're really going to go crazy that I'm over there. They're really not mad. Philly's a crazy place, bro. No, it is. It's pretty bad over there. But I don't think like the Italian community. Like half of them wouldn't even care. And I'll be honest with you, I get a lot of mail from Philly guys that tell me dirt on Joe. They a lot of people hate him over well, there. Listen, I, do me a favor. No more. Let's just move on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, I'm saying I do get a lot of mail. Though. Yeah. What's that? I get a lot of mail from them from Philly. Okay. DMs. Standing on business with Eric Foss is a lot of wise guys in prison listen to Jeff's show. A lot of wise guys watch this stuff, and I'll tell you how we know. Um, we actually had a guy on our show uh, that's active, a uh, real, real dangerous guy, Eddie Recca. Eddie Recca was like a known, he was like the original Chris Cagnotta of our area. Probably one of the worst guys to come out of Queens ever. And uh, he don't care. He loves me and loves it. and Johnny. And he talks to us and he don't give a fuck. He's not a rat, never did nothing. He just thinks they're all clowns. And he loves abusing organized crime. Loves it. And um, people literally, he got like 100 emails, <laughs> maybe more, that he was on the show. And they were all talking about it through the federal system. So, you know, everyone watches it. And, uh, well, know, listen, Eric and Eric Foss was with. All sorts of people. We've interviewed him. He was with Mark Ryder and all these different people. Right. Um, also, keep in mind, um, and I was talking with another content creator about this recently. These people, right, like Gene and, and other people, if you don't think made guys talk to some of these guys. They tell them what to say. Come on, bro. Like, on. I, I definitely think they speak. Not all of them, but listen, remember. And I, I mean this, and I'm not – I don't think I'm speaking out of tune here. I don't think it's that many. But I think Sammy Gravano actively talks to a few guys still, probably. I wouldn't doubt it. I talk to people still. You do? I talk to people still. I'll say it right the fuck now. I don't care. You Don't, don't say it. Man. Yeah, I won't. All right. Uh, Hello World says, will Gene be doing gay porn in two years? I yeah, think. bro. Good idea. How much money? How much they paying? Stop <laughs> it, man. Stop it. Yo, these guys are so crazy. Um, Gene just loves talking. Oh, King Kong's back. Says Gene loves just talking about gay stuff. That's all he can say. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, right. King Kong. <laughs> all right, King Kong. You've said enough. All right, enough. <laughs> King Kong asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he uh he was quite the uh, he was quite the character. Gene Rose to that fool. <laughs> Don says I'm at the Borgata, I know Gene. <laughs> okay. I'm at the oh, Borgata, I know Gene. Which one, Dom? All right. Yeah, by the way, I wanted to speak about Dom real quick. Uh Dominic did a show with uh the biggest fucking phony on here, Johnny Mitchell. Um 
and you interviewed with him too. Uh, total fucking fraud at every level. Um, that said, Dominic made a comment that he knows who the boss of the Genovese family is, and it's not Barney. Um, I mean, it could it could be very well like he don't want to do it no more. Barney could actually step, you know, Barney could step down. You know what I'm saying? And just said he don't want to do. You know, when they get old, they like to like replace them because they don't want to be bothered no more. You know. Gene, what and that makes me ask you, like, what do you think about like people like me and like OC Shorts and guys that we're not in that world, we're not in that life, but do you think why do you think the people like why do you think Panisi and guys like that don't like me? Why do you think it is? Well, Panisi's a total fraud. I mean, we could go like 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 to me, John Panisi's the biggest fraud out of everyone I I know. Like literally. I mean, I, 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 I said I, before, I, I like his content. Yeah, no, he's a clown. Eddie Recker, all the guys that really know, he wasn't doing nothing. So I always will bash him. I have no problem bashing him. He's 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 a total peon in the genre. But um, he probably don't like you because you know at the end of the day they don't want to hear the truth. You know what I'm saying things about themselves, but you know you got to come to terms with it. You know he said his dead grandma made him cooperate. It's ridiculous. He cries. He cooperated over three years. I mean I could keep going on on about the guy. He says he has a murder. He was six blocks down and somebody got shot. I mean we don't really want to talk about the things with him. So who knows? You know what I mean um. He don't like you because you you know put him on blast. You know what I mean? That's that's just what it is. I love I love guys like you because you know what? I like to be interviewed. This is fun. Gino says he's from Staten Island. This guy was calling you out earlier. Have you ever he's heard from, of him? No, I never heard of him. He's from Staten Island. Staten Island's the dumps right now. I don't even know he's over there. You live no, in Staten Island. Howard Beach, sorry. Oh, Staten Island's the fucking dumps. Good. He's from right. Howard Beach. Never heard of him. Gino from Howard Beach. Yo, he probably just moved there six. Probably just moved there a couple years ago and just, you know, heard some names. Wants to be cool. <laughs> yeah, I swear uh, to God, Justin, he probably just read up some books and he's probably like, oh, let's go talk on, on the internet. To make it like Justice, I'm affiliated. Justice Mountain Fight Island. I don't think Gene knew anyone in the traffic. That was way before his time. I was locked up with one, uh, John, Mamo, uh, John Mamone. He was a pretty cool guy. I was with him on a violation. There you go. Where's the Trafficanti family base, Gene? It's Florida. It was Tampa. They were deep in Tampa. Yeah. Uh, CJ in Sarnia says, Gene, you have to admit Joey is a stand up guy. Two dollars. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. I mean, he never cooperated against anybody. But, you know, him on the Internet is a rule being broken. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. What do you what, what would you say if he says he's not in the life anymore? You can't be. It's impossible. I mean, you know, you can't ever say you're not in the life. The more you could step down. That doesn't mean you could just break all the rules now. You know what I'm right. saying? OK, so you don't think he stepped down. You think he's still doing absolutely. You know, I think he's still active as fuck. Tommy Frog, thanks for watching, bro. Uh, we have over 1,220 people in here still. Thank you for watching. If anybody has any comments or questions, feel free to drop them. Gene, did you ever meet Ciro Perone? Um, so I knew his grandkids very well. Um, he was pretty old. Yeah, but no, he was still alive when I was around. Uh, he used to be in Don Peps all the time. Um, I didn't know him personally. My Uncle Andy was best friends with him. Uh, I'm sure you know the story where he paid 20000 to Peter Gotti because my cousin owed money to him and Andy, my uncle Andy threatened Peter over the phone, whatever, whatever happened. But Ciro ended up paying the money. He was close to my family, but I, I never, um, never met him. Do you, uh, have you ever heard that story about Ciro Perone at Don Pepe's talking about the Gotti show? Yeah, he hated them. Uh, Ciro Perone was an old school gangster. I mean, talking about he would be like a hundred, over a hundred right now. Yeah, he was old. He, yeah. he was. Him and other uh, other gangsters are talking about the show and that it's like a fucking disgrace. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah, Ciro Perone was a very respected man. I mean, one of the biggest money guys. Are, are, people don't even. I wish you would do a show on him because he was one of the richest gangsters ever. Probably didn't know that. Yeah, I got to do something on him soon. He's yeah. a he's an interesting guy. He was under Matty the Horse and yeah, a couple sure. of other people. One of the biggest earners in mob history. All right, uh, Thomas Hallen says Panisi speaks about knowing Tony Muscatiello. Gene says he didn't know Panisi. I don't know who Panisi is. We never heard of him in Howard Beach. He's a nothing. Um, Tony Muscatello is a cool guy. I always got along with Tony. Tony's an house crew. I like Tony. Um, uh, he's a good friend. Uh, one of his cousins was my best. one of my best friends. And um, Tony was a cool guy. I never heard of John Panisi. He wasn't in Howard Beach. He was, you know, still talking about doing meetings with Blaze Carrazzo, is, which means absolutely nothing. But, um, you know, this guy really is a peon. I'm being real with you. Like, if you talk to anyone that knows anything, they will tell you John Panisi is a fucking piss on. Straight up. Again, I uh, I do believe he was around. Obviously, you know he you, got straightened out at fifty five years old, John. Uh, Jeff, um, Jeff, come on, Jeff. You're being thought about at fifty five years old. You're a fucking joke. Come on, man. 
Uh, Mike DeBella has a question on your wash uh, business, but I'll, I'll issue that off the air. Um, all right, a couple other people here, and then we'll get off here. Um, yeah. All right, Samson Cat, enough, dude. Enough already with the suit shit. <laughs> Move on, bro. Seriously. Um, does Gene have children? No. Let's hope he never does. <laughs> um, Gene, do you ever go to the Hard Rock in Tampa? Yeah, of course. Did you ever do time with the Flores twins? Yeah, good. For, I was really close to yeah. Margarito. Oh, why yeah. did I do that? Really? What? Me and Margarito, I did three years with him. Do you know who they are? Very well. I was fucking used to train them for abs, bro. Water, he's fucking this. Yo, water, yo, water. Water, yeah, like water. Huh? They were all Chapo's boys. Yeah, I was super close. I used to sit in his cell every day and drink Diet Cokes and hang out with him all the time. That was my buddy, uh, Margarito. Did he ever talk to you about Chapo? Fuck yeah. I got the best stories right here. I want to one, one real quick. One? I'll give you a good one. So one time he told me that um, they were running all Chicago, but they're not violent guys. They'll tell you that. Gene, Gene, hold on. Don't disrespect them, okay? No, Just... not at all. I like them. So um No, I mean No, I mean him. No, I know, no, no. They're they're not violent guys. So um uh the Flores twins will openly tell you that they're nonviolent, but they make millions and millions and millions of dollars. So he, the uh, El Chapo used to call them their, their their kids. He used to call them his sons. So um, one time they were warring in Chicago over all the drug money and all the things coming in. So he had told me he contacted El Chapo and says, I need weapons, Wardy. That's how he talks, Wardy. I need weapons. He goes, uh, El Chapo goes, okay, don't worry. I'll send you down weapons. Uh, just give me a couple of days. He says that they send him a U-Haul truck down. He opens it up. It was shoulder rockets. <laughs> He sent them a truck of shoulder rockets. He calls him back and goes, what the fuck am I going to do with rockets in Chicago? <laughs> that was one of the I mean, he, had that kind of, uh, he had that kind of ability, man. Yeah, because he, he's used to Mexico where they shoot rockets at each other, you know, like crazy shit. Oh, yeah. So he sent them down a fucking van of shoulder rockets. I thought that, I was crying laughing over that one. It was great. Oh, they're suited and booted down there, man. Yeah, I was super close to him. I, know, I was locked up with him for three years. Just Laurie says, if you're walking down a dark alley, trust me, you want Gene with you. I do fight for my friends to the end. Um, all right. Uh, Gene does numbers. As Lee Cole would say, Gene does numbers. <laughs> Yo, you still you talk to Lee. Do you miss Lee? Be real. I like Lee. I, I have no, I mean, I'm actually going to meet Lee, uh, Lee in a few weeks. If, if, if it's a little weird without him coming on, right? Yeah, you've had your run-ins with Gene. Gene was uh, we fuck me and him were like fucking a married couple, bro. We used to fucking we were friends. We weren't. We hate each other. We're best friends. But we used to have fun. Me and that guy. Do you miss him? Or? Yeah, I like Lee a lot. I always got along. I like Lee. We had a lot of stage stuff too. Me and him were hysterical. We used to plan things and have fun. We were just funny. I can see that. I can see <laughs> that. Larry says Gene should be Trump's running mate. I love Trump. I would love that. Uh, Gene, you and your cousin are great together. Do more podcasts, says Eric. Um, yeah, uh, I, I always talk with my cousin. I, um, I, I break his chops all the time. I love pranking him and stuff. So, yeah, I, I, I might be sitting with him again. All right, Gene, I'll let you go. Thank you all for right. coming on. I'll give you a, a shout after this. Thank you for jumping on and answering some questions. Um, seems like you're a bit more behaved. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. I'll talk to you later, buddy. Yeah, talk soon. See you, bro. Hey. All right, uh, there's uh, Gene Borello. Uh, thanks to him for coming on. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm not going to get off yet. I want to go back through uh, the Super Chats, uh, anybody we didn't get. Uh, thanks, everybody, for, for chiming in. we got a bunch of people. If anybody has questions for me, feel free to drop them now. Uh, Clint Wilson, thank you so much, bro. Uh, Jake Remington, SDF. I missed uh, FL. I'm sorry, FL. Ten bucks. Thanks, FL. Uh, truly nice of you. Um, thanks for showing some love. Joe Marsh, my man. Uh, Global Media. Thanks, Global Media. Three bucks. Appreciate you. Sorry, guys. I, I had so many comments coming in. Um, Mark Anthony said you can never come back home. Howard Beach, Real Italiana. I don't know what you're talking about, CECC. -E you're from Canada. What are you talking about, bro? Uh, Adam Rogers. Uh, I don't think Gene knew Sal the Ironworker. Totally different store, uh, cruise. Daniel Patrick, Jeff, Mike Redbird is live right now showing me. So you hope it's fake. Please address ASAP. Um, yeah, I don't, whatever. I don't really care. Um, I don't know who that is, but uh, we're going to get rid of you. Um, Gene, your personality, you 
Wish you would have stood up. Fair enough. Ham Sammy, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I won't be on here that much longer, but we'll see how it all goes here. Thank you, Dirty. Thank you for watching. Bella knows what's going on. Gene is growing on me. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm so far behind in the comments. Tommy Frog, man, you seem to be super upset, bro. Sorry, guys. I have so many comments here tonight. We have so many people in here. Um, thank you, ATB. ATB Mob, I appreciate it. Thank you, Damien. Appreciate you, brother. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Appreciate you joining us tonight here. Uh, kind of a fun show. We had to ask Gene some questions, figure out what was going on with him. Um, and uh, I'm glad we were able to do that. So thank you for tuning in. I got a new video coming out uh, tomorrow, so make sure you check that out. Uh, always uh, keeping it moving here on the sit down. That's what we do. We keep it moving. Next things, next things, next things. Uh, no, as far as I know, he's not on any paper, no. Mustache Pete, my man, thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, got taken down. You two pulled it down. All right. What's up, John? Thank you, Fry Guy. Appreciate that. Uh, we've talked about that before. I asked him last time he came on about that. So we did ask him. You just didn't listen to it. Laurie Schroeder. Thank you, Laurie. Appreciate it. $2. Thank you so much, Laurie. Um, what's up, baby D? Thank you. A lot of people jumped off now that Gene uh, is gone. All right, guys, I'm out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Uh, thanks, uh, everybody, for the Super Chats. Let me uh, just go through them real quick. Mike, Jake, uh, Clint Wilson, Remington, SDF, FL, Joe Marsh, Mike DeBella, my man, uh, Global Media, Justice, Mountain, CJ, Adam, CC, Vet, CJ, Adam Rogers, and Laurie, thank you guys so much. Thanks all of you for jumping in here today. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all uh, next time. Later.